So I've just been doing a little bit of an experiment. Now, I don't know if you watch uh, Kev with the Roberts. Fantastic channel. He does lots of um, tests. Anyway, he's watched another guy called Gary, which I've just joined as well. Now, Gary did this mad thing. He obviously lives in the woods in the US somewhere. And in a minute, Bonnie. And um, he flew through the woods, which was great. Obstacle avoidance, it was bypassing all the trees, which looked amazing. And then he hit the return to home. So what, I was just feeding the dog a minute. <laughs> so he pressed the return to home. Instead of it going straight up in the air, obviously it couldn't because of the trees and the overhanging trees. Um, it went through all the trees. You now you get that green, anyway, see it in a minute. But what I will say now, guys, is if you just bought this drone, don't do this. <laughs> You've got to be having drones for quite a while. Um, and if it does crash, you just got to accept it. But if you just bought this brand new, you've never flown a drone in your life, don't try this at all. But I must say, I had three attempts. <laughs> You're going to see in a moment. Um, yeah, anyway, I'll let you see the vids first, and then we'll have a little quick chat at the end. Tracking three fast moving objects, uh, origin unknown. Flight, can you hear me? Flight, can you hear me? 
So anyway, as you can see, <laughs> I chickened out. I think what it is, these trees are not tall enough uh, and they've got quite a lot of gaps in them. And I think the first time it nearly, it nearly worked. It come back and then it decided to go up and come down. And to me, it looked like it was gonna land on top of the trees. I just want to take that risk. So I, I canceled that. I did another one that obviously found a gap in the trees and took straight up and come straight back. So I thought the third time I'll do it again. I got in with the trees thinking, you know, I was overhanged by the trees and it would just come, but it didn't. It managed to come back and then find an opening straight up in the air, come right back over. To me, it looked like it was going to land on the tree. So I chickened out. So Kev, amazing. Gary, amazing. Not so amazing for me, but it was interesting how that return to home thing works. I always presumed that when you do return to home, obviously in an open area, it goes up and that's it. But I didn't realize you could plan it to go quite low. But anyway, <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. It's a bit of fun, guys, as always. Um, like I said before, if it's your first time, don't do it. But if you'll, you know, be flying drones from Cotwa, give it a go. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. I'll catch you on another drone video very soon. Mm -hmm.